Before Melbourne Tate, may we please stand up to welcome His Majesty King Litie the Third. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to pay my respects to His Majesty King Litia III, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Sam Matekani, Honorable Presiding Officers of the Senate and National Assembly, Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Members of His Majesty's Cabinet, Principal Secretaries, uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me start by Pay my respects to Acting Senior Private Secretary to His Majesty Ndade Yules Impale, the Descendant Jacobas Harel. Then I'll go to Principal Secretaries. Uh, I recognize in particular Acting Principal Secretary in the Ministry of Education and Training, Ndade Ratsiu Majara, who is with us. The executives from Higher Life Foundation, Zimbabwe. Mayor Maramba and Ndate Katio, the Board of Directors and Management of Ipanet Telecom Lesotho, Ndate Dennis, Lumi Kowahau, Bimba Mokiti, the second cohort of the Kimu Shoshowan Scholarship and the proud parents represented by Mema Ria Priyadizwi. Our media partners, thank you for always honoring our invites, ladies and gentlemen, Good morning and welcome. My name is Ulema Tabamaswabi, and it is my honor to stand before you and direct this brief but important program as we introduce the beneficiaries of the Key Mushashawan Scholarships. At this point, I'd like to call the Chief Executive Officer of Econet Telecom Lesotho, Ndade Dennis Plagis, to deliver the opening remarks on behalf of Econet and Higher Life Foundation. That it is. Thank you, Mepule. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to pay my respects to His Majesty King Lydia III, the Right Honorable Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister the presiding officers of the Senate and National Assembly and honorable members of His Majesty's Cabinet. And uh, let me also recognize the Senior Private Secretary to His Majesty, Ndate Mpale, and the acting PS, Education and Training, Ndate Ratsiu Majara, who is with us today. The executives of Higher Life Foundation Zimbabwe, who took a flight to be with us today. Mayor Petronola, thank you, and the ZK. The board members of Econotaku Lesotho Management and Staff and Higher Life Foundation Lesotho Management. The second cohort of the Mushashawan Scholarship and their parents, our media partners. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to this auspicious event. Last year in August, His Majesty launched the Mushashawan Scholarship for the academically gifted Yambasutu who have completed their LGCSC um, studies. This was really the first SUR where Highlight Foundation has been supporting vulnerable children to take them to school since 2011. But last year, we saw a feat that we have another stream dedicated at looking at those with potential to study the STEM-related courses. Uh, Your Majesty, I'd like to mention that um, those 10 that last year you bid farewell, uh, we have one of two of them are studying at Aden University in Zambia. They are studying medicine. We have six are still at the National University of Lesotho, and one is completing A levels, but they will also be leaving in January 2024 to study medicine, astrophysics, 
and make kenotronics to various institutions outside of the country. The last scholar of the 10 opted to complete his diploma in architecture at Laudatory Polytechnic. We believe he will continue to pursue his studies and this scholarship will continue to support him until where he says he's done. The purpose of today, just like we received approval to use the name of the founder of Basotho, Kim Shoshuan, and launched the scholarship with 10 beneficiaries last year, we found it appropriate, Your Majesty, to come back to you, first to report this progress of the first cohort, and second to introduce the second cohort and ask Your Majesty for your blessings and counsel. Your Majesty, we have five young boys and five young girls whom, after rigorous interviews, we found worthy to be awarded the Mushoshawan Scholarship. Their names are Mpom Shongo, Patience Disebo Matosa, Caroline Reatile Mashwani, Sebabazo Mashomola, Precious Retabile Hoho, Tabo Ratia, Francis Fusi Mohele, Swai Musidi, Temoho Morobe, Africa Mpo Bachis. This is not Bachis. <laughs> My family are not eligible for the scholarship, so it's Bachis. Just like the, the predecessors, Your Majesty. They will be studying science, technology, engineering, mathematics related courses. Our promise, Your Majesty, as ETL, is to be part of the solutions that our country needs, and we proudly do so by giving educational opportunities to the future leaders like these beneficiaries today. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Dennis, and uh, that is indeed a promise this telecommunications giant lives by. Now that we know why we have gathered here, I'd like to call one of the recipients, Mr. Swai Musidi, Mr. Swai Musidi, to deliver thank you remarks on behalf of other recipients. Uh, may I commence by passing my sincerest greetings to everyone who has gathered here today. I truly deem it an honor to have been granted this profound opportunity. But most importantly, may I pay my respect to His Majesty King Lizzie III for being in our midst today to celebrate this monumental uh, event with us. Being one of the beneficiaries of this scholarship, I stand here with the sole aim of expressing our gratitude from me and on behalf of my fellows. It is truly going to play a very pivotal role in our studies from now onwards. So I want to say thank you to the Econet Telecom Lesotho and the Higher Life Foundations. Thank you to the, to the owners or the founders along with their co-partners. And I really, really pray that may God continue to bless them and may it grow to help other students so that we can come back and invest in our country because we believe it is destined for greater heights. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Musidi, and congratulations to all the recipients. Your game-changing journey is now set. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to call one of the proud parents, Ne Maria Bezu Mashwani. Aki ato re kaka, re uko hore na yena wiku kwa juang. Hi, Emezi, bato di baba ngo ato ne uhi sabana. Ne Maria Bezu. Ne Maria Bezu. Em kia lebo ha? E ki sumpen la timutoti ya holo. Telecom Scholarship 
ke tlo le bo hagolo ke tlo le bo hela le bana bana hagolo hore e be ba fuwe monyetla o na e lona bana le tsa mahe le e skolong le lo etsa nda ke motlotle a be motlotlo a be motlotlo ka lona e connect e ske be a swaba ka hore e be e le file monyetla o na le gona ke le batswadi le ge tsoge ke thabe ke be motlotlo ke ikotle di fuba ka lona na hena le sotho e tletse o tlokgola nthotse molemo go lona ya le boa ya le bo hane maria dile and uh, my apologies for getting your name wrong but it is still a beautiful name eh ya le bo ha ka nnete eh ka mantsi ya o ihle o entse yona qaqa eh at this juncture eh uh, you are a proud parent and we are excited for you May they show respect wherever they go while they continue to work hard. And at this point, I would like to call uh, acting PS Education, Ndaderasu Majara, who is here on behalf of the Minister of Education and Training. Ndade Majara, Msiwetiwa Haomuholu, please, Ikopaho uh, Otobuwe, after which I humbly request you to call on the Krupp CEO of Higher Life Foundation and Delta Philanthropies, uh, Mr. Katio, is sitting over there, and the CEO of Econet Telecom Lesotho, Mr. Dennis Flashes, and the His Majesty King Lizzie the Third to award the certificates. The, my third request to you, is to is to is to call <laughs> to call on his majesty to deliver his keynote address so first you do your remarks then you call for them to award the certificates then his, you call for his majesty to deliver his keynote address thank you very much it's my time to sit down now <laughs> no, thank you very much for the opportunity um, let me start first by paying my respects to His Majesty King the Third, the Right Honourable the Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, Cabinet Ministers, in particular, Honourable Dr. Papa, um, also SPS uh, Management of Econet, as well as Higher Life Foundation. Um, I'm Rasfi Majara, Deputy MPS in terms of education and training. Um, mine is just to, to, to say to Econet and Higher Life, to say the Ministry is, is thankful for extending this helping hand to these young men and women who are going to pursue their studies in STEM subjects. And we are grateful because we, we, we see that you are always uh, ready to support us in, in our endeavor to ensure that Basoto get the necessary skills. It is gratifying indeed that the, the, the skills that these students are going to, to acquire are those that are, are uh, shown in the NSDP to be the drivers of this economy. And therefore, we want to thank you very much Econet and Higher Life for, for uh, investing in the skills that are going to help this country to grow. We are grateful uh, for this rare opportunity that has been offered to you. I uh, understand that uh, uh, this opportunity is not just a man, but it came to you through hard work. And we uh, want to, to encourage you to continue working as you proceed with your studies. Uh, we want nothing from you but the skills, uh, new ideas, so that when you come back, this country will benefit from you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Your Majesty, may I also request that you also come and uh, and uh, receive this on behalf of the learners.
Uh, Radia John Tabo, please come forward. Oh, oh, precious Tavile. Sebabato Mashomola. Paul Bachis. See this way. We see more color. We come stronger. Moho Morobe Isabo Matosa Reati Le Mashwane. Now my honor and privilege to request His Majesty to give his remarks. No, no, do you love us in that? Can I also be allowed to pay my respects to the Prime Minister, my respects to the Minister of Education and the representatives of the Ministry, the Acting Principal Secretary, the management of Econet, Econet Telecom Lesotho, management and leadership of the High Life Foundation, Bume Libundadi, Lilona Bana Barona, Gale Dumedisa, Gale Lumpa. As Ndati Dennis has kindly reminded us in his statement that it was only a year ago, or just over a year ago, that we gathered in Tawabusi to parade and celebrate the first cohort of the Mushashua, the first scholarship recipients. That was a wonderful occasion and a very important one. I'm glad to hear that those students are now busy with their studies in various institutions of higher learning in Lesotho and beyond. And I'm glad to hear that they are continuing to pursue, they will continue to pursue their studies in sciences, technology, engineering and mathematics. Uri 
Today, once again, we are here to celebrate with the parents, with the management of Econet Telecom Lesotho, the management of the Higher Life Foundation, another group of young Basotho who have been found worthy to be awarded the Mushesha the First scholarships, to also be given an opportunity to pursue studies in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We are grateful to the Higher Life Foundation, to the Econet Group, and of course, we are grateful to the patrons and founders of the company and the High Life Foundation. We hope, as the representative of the parents have said, has said, that these young people will go out and do us proud will go out and do this country proud through their studies and also having completed their studies they will come back and do us proud by contributing to the development of this country. Yesterday I was at the university to kickstart the process of the graduation program. In my statement, I highlighted the importance of relevant education. I know that science Technology, engineering, and mathematics are broad subjects. But I hope that our students, within that broad ambit of science and technology, they will pursue or choose to study aspects of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics that will be relevant to our situation in Lesotho. They will pursue to study and acquire skills, relevant skills, that will help them to help us as a country to overcome the challenges that we in Lesotho and that Basotho meet on a daily basis. So I do hope that when you pick your subjects in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, you will choose relevant and appropriate subjects to our condition and our situation and our development, developmental challenges here in Lesotho because that's what we need. We need you to bring technology to development. We need you to bring science and mathematics and engineering to our development endeavors. We need you to be innovators. Hori, <laughs>